Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete S3 buckets in AWS using AWS console. I have logged into my AWS account. So here you can see S3. So you can just click this and create the bucket or you will be able to click the S3 here or you can search for S3 or you can click the services and then search for the storage and then you will find S3 here using this you will be able to create the S3 bucket. Before creating the S3 bucket let us see what is the privilege that is required to create the S3 bucket. So click IAM, click users. I have logged in as a user so which has the admin privilege. So I will be able to create the S3 bucket without providing any additional permissions. But in case if you are having a user which doesn't have the admin privileges, you need to add the permissions required to create an S3 bucket. So click add permissions, click add permissions. So click attach po policies directly. Here you can search for the existing S3 related policies. You can see that there are a lot of S3 policies already defined by AWS. So you can if you wanted to give full access you can select the amazon s3 full access or if you wanted to just give the read only access for the user you can give that as well cancelling this so now we will click this and create an s3 bucket click create bucket so the for the bucket we need to give a unique name so we'll give a demo and some random numbers Okay. and then we need to select the region in which we want the bucket to be created so i will leave it as a default right and the object ownership so we wanted to have the acls enabled then you will be able to further configure and enable the acls okay and here the block public access settings for this bucket this is by default enabled which means uh, you won't have any public access to the objects which is there in this bucket but if you wanted to give the public access you can disable this right and the bucket versioning by default it is disabled but if you wanted to enable you can enable this so with bucket versioning so you can have multiple versions of the same object the default encryption is using the amazon s3 managed keys so if you wanted to use the key management service uh, encryption keys you can select that right and in the advanced settings if you wanted to uh, ensure the object whatever we add to the bucket it shouldn't get deleted you can just enable this which will block the anyone from deleting the objects in the particular bucket okay so we'll leave it as disabled and then click create bucket so the bucket has been successfully created now we'll be able to upload objects to this bucket click upload right click add files so i am going to upload the object aws s3 here click upload it's uploading the file has been successfully uploaded okay, click this you will be able to see more information about the particular object which we have uploaded you will be so the properties of the particular object so what is the s3 uri for that object what is the arn and what is the object url and what are the permissions right? and you can see the version so here we have not enabled the versioning so that's why it says right it's give this message so if you wanted to enable the bucket versioning you can enable it here right so you'll be able to download this object Right? so you'll be able to download and you can save it in the local system and if you wanted to copy the s3 URI to further use it you can do that and the object actions right so currently we have disabled the public access for this bucket so you won't be able to access the object by using the url provider so for that to access this particular object i'm going to create a pre-signed url for that click share with the pre-signed url right so we will give it share it for five minutes click create pre-signed url right so the now the pre-signed url has been created you can copy this pre-signed url and then we'll be able to access this object using this pre-signed url see now we are able to access this particular object 
so now let us see how to delete this object what we created click this and then you'll be able to click delete right so you need to specify whether we want to permanently delete this or not click permanently delete and delete this object the object has been permanently deleted okay close this so now let us see how to delete the bucket itself right select this bucket click delete okay so we need to give the bucket name here type the bucket name then click delete bucket so the bucket has been successfully deleted in this demo, we have seen how to create an S3 bucket in AWS using the AWS console and upload a file to the bucket, access the file using the pre-signed URL and then delete the object from the bucket and finally delete the S3 bucket itself. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.